In this video, I will discuss grafting seed stitch. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get a notice each time I go live or post a new video. When grafting seed stitch, bind off edge to bind off edge, you have to remember that there is a stitch jog, an offset of your stitches when grafting these two edges together. So there are four possible combinations of stitch setups. And because this is a pretty in-depth process, I have a blog post to go along with this video so that you can see my charts and uh, grafting graphs that will help you to visualize what needs to happen. I will discuss a couple of the combinations because the other two combinations are simply the reverse of these first two combinations. So to see all four combinations, be sure to visit my blog post uh, if you need in-depth directions for your particular situation of grafting seed stitch. Here's ideally what our graft looks like. Keep in mind if you used your working yarn it would blend in much better. I have two sets of swatches here illustrating two of the potential combinations of the four possible combinations. So these two swatches, the first stitch on the front needle, which has the right side facing, is a purl. The first stitch on the back needle is a purl stitch, and that's the wrong side facing me, which means the right side, the last stitch on the right side is a knit, so that the stitch presents as a purl. So that's one possible combination. The, the corresponding combination would be a knit on this as this stitch and a knit on this stitch. So two of the same presenting towards me. The other type of combination is a knit stitch as the first stitch on the front needle and a purl stitch as the first stitch on the back needle, which means on the wrong side, it's a purl stitch, so the last stitch on the right side was a knit stitch. The corresponding opposite combination would be a purl stitch in the front and a knit stitch in the back. So I'm going to work with these two combinations and show you how these are grafted. I'll work with the knit stitch in front and purl stitch in back first. I'm using a contrasting color yarn to work this graft. The setup steps will change depending on what stitches you have on as your first stitches on the needle, but then the combination of stitches will be the same from um, type to type. So because I have a knit stitch here on the front and we are going to start with the front needle in each case. So the knits, if the knit stitch is the first stitch on your front needle, you will insert as if to knit and leave on. and a on the back, a purl, and a leave on. Now we will repeat a set of steps. So because this is a knit stitch to start, we are going to begin with a purl off and a purl on on the front needle. Now we move to the back needle and we will do a knit off and a knit on. Off, knit on. 
Now we will do a knit off, knit on on this needle. Then on the back needle, we're going to do a purl off, purl on, and then on the front needle, we'll do a purl off, purl on. So it will go back needle, front needle, matching, back needle, front needle, the opposite matching. We'll see. So purl off, purl on, purl off, purl on. Then knit off, knit on, and knit off, knit on. Pearl, 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 pearl. Knit, 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 knit. And so on across to the last two stitches. So did a knit, knit, so here I need to do a knit off, and then a purl off. Like so, you might have a different set of stitches. And so I will tighten this up across the row. That could possibly be tightened a little bit better, but you get the idea. So you should see a, when looking across here, alternating pearl, knit, 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 pearl, knit. And then up, up here, there's a half jog but you should still see knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl. So that was a knit stitch as the first stitch on the front needle, a purl stitch presenting, or a knit stitch on the right side as the last stitch on your needle for grafting these. Again, check out my blog post for the graphing diagram so that you can apply this to your situation. 
after the setup for whatever stitches are presenting here, the, the pairs of purl, 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 knit, 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 hold true for all of these different situations. Now, the whether the back needle is worked first and the front needle is worked second, or vice versa will depend on your stitch situation. Again, refer to my blog post to see all of the detailed graphing diagrams. The other situation I want to show you is with a purl stitch presenting as the first stitch on the front needle and a purl stitch presenting as the first stitch on the back needle, which means on the right side, the last stitch was a knit stitch. Our setup, again, we will work from the front needle first and then the back needle, a setup step. So the front needle gets a purl and the back needle gets a purl. Purl and leave on, purl and leave on. Now we will work a knit knit on the front needle and a knit knit on the back needle. Knit off, knit on, on the front needle. Knit off, knit on, on the back needle. And then purl set. So for this combination, the front needle goes first. So we will purl, purl on the front, purl, purl on the back. Keeping my tail, my thread under the needle. Now knit, knit. and knit, knit. Pearl, pearl. Pearl, pearl. Depending on how many stitches you have, your ending setups, your ending stitches might be different. Just keep in the pattern. So I did a pearl pearl, pearl pearl, yeah, that stitch on the needle, knit, knit on, ah. Let's stay on. And then I'm running out of yarn. Knit on, off, I mean, and then knit on. And then the last ones would be pearl off, pearl off. And I will clean up
like so. But again, there is an offset, but you should see a knit purl, knit purl, and then alternating knit purl, knit purl in the center of the craft. And they both look very similar. Because there's a lot going on in the seed stitch, you can really not tell too badly that there is a half stitch jog in this graft when you work the graft like this. Again, see my blog post for detailed graft charts for each situation and combination of stitches. So that was how to graft seed stitch, bind off edge to bind off edge. Again, look at my blog post for detailed directions for each of the four different possible combinations of stitches that you could have leading up to your graft. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching.